Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back. I'm here bringing out another NBA 2K21 video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a um, Lori Marketing Rappers Rebuild. One of my subscribers, uh, he asked for it, so I told him I would bring it out to him. I know I was supposed to have it out Monday, but some, some stuff has come up, so you'll be seeing it tomorrow on Wednesday. So, Lori Marketing on the um, Toronto Raptors would be very interesting because you do got Pascal Siakam and you do got Chris Boucher still. And even with Laurie Marketing on there, he could be coming off the bench. He could be the starter, you know, he is seven feet tall. I probably will have him running the center position for us for this video. But if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's hop into this rebuild. And I also will be having more um, rebuilds out like for players that I predict where they can go, like a John Collins Spurs rebuild, Laurie Marketing Spurs rebuild. You could have like, how large to the Sixers rebuild, all these other type of rebuilds, but let's hop in this rebuild, man. So let's see how the computer actually puts the depth chart. So Gary Trent Jr. Um, is off the bench right now. Lori Marketing is not even going to be playing. He'll be coming off the bench. I honestly rather have Lori Marketing starting at center for us. So if we put Lori Marketing at the center position and kind of like this, it's going to be better off next year because Gary Trent will be starting for us next year. And then we'll also be having um, we'll probably have Kyle Lowry off the books. Probably won't, we probably won't bring Kyle Lowry back. And then other than that, this team is pretty bad. So let's go out and see what we can do with Lori Marketing, Pascal Siakam, OG Anobi, Fred Van Vliet, Kyle Lowry, and Gary Trent Jr. pretty much. Um, I will make Aaron Baines a power forward just because I know he goes up and he can uh, he can shoot a little bit still, I believe. Not really. His 3 went to a 61. That's pretty bad, man. He used to have like an 83-3 or something, but... We're gonna send the first season and see how we do with Lord Marketing in the first year. So we made it into the first season and we didn't do too bad. We went 46 and 36. LeBron James is your MVP. LaMelo got rookie. Six man goes to Jordan Clarkson and defensive player goes to Giannis. It's like always Giannis, man. Christian Will got most improved and coach of the year goes to Captain Nash over there in Brooklyn. Given them they do have a stacked team, even though LaMarcus did retire, it's still kind of stacked. Not too stacked, but still stacked. So here's the All NBA first team. All NBA second team and all NBA third team. There was no one from uh, the Raptors, all defensive. Yeah, no Raptors. So we did end up barely squeaking the eight seed. That's interesting. That's very interesting how we barely squeaked the eight seed because we didn't do that bad. We went 46 and 36. Like, that's literally four games out of 50 wins and we barely squeaked the eight seed. That's crazy, man. So. At least we made the playoffs. The Brooklyn Nets went 58 and 24, as well as the Lakers did. And let's go look at the stats real quick. So, for these stats, man, um, I'm curious to see what Laurie Marketing and Pascal Siakam do because they're kind of the power forward center combo. So, Pascal Siakam had 20 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, shot 46% from the field, 33% from the three point line, not too bad. Kyle Lowry had 20 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. For Evan Bleed had 24 and 1, I mean 6. And then Lauren Marketing had 15, 6, and 1 assist. So Lauren Marketing had 5. I mean, he had 6 rebounds and Siakam had 7. They didn't really get that many rebounds, but did they shoot lights out from the 3-point line? Lauren Marketing almost did. Almost 40% from the 3-point line ain't too bad. He is an 81 overall now. So could we upset the Brooklyn Nets? Probably not, but we took a game from them at least. So we do got to get this team better to try to win a chip and keep Lauren Marketing on the team as well. So let's go out and free agency. We might have to say goodbye to Kyle Lowry, like I said earlier. If we go to player retirements, um, there's not really anyone from us. A lot of Heat players, Ariza, Iguodala, and Haslam all retired. Some notable names here. If we go to, uh, I do like the coach we have in Toronto. I do like uh, Nick Nurse. I really think he's a good coach. I just think Toronto's not having a really good year. I don't know why. But if we go to the NBA draft, um, maybe some player will fall to us like a Greg Brown or something. So let's simp to our next pick. We had pick 18. Let's see who falls to us, man. Um, Scotty Barnes is here. I did not think Scotty Barnes would be this far. Kai Jones is here from Texas. I am a big Kai Jones fan, but Scotty Barnes is a B plus overall and Kai Jones is a B. So I'm pretty sure you go with the B plus overall. That's the better overall. Um, so we'll go with Scotty Barnes since I usually um, do get Kai Jones sent to our next pick. Maybe we have another pick and maybe Kai Jones fell there. You just really can't pass on Scotty Barnes there. Marcus Bagley, that has to be Marvin Bagley's brother. Yeah, there's not really much here. So we'll go with the highest overall, which is Marcus Bagley. 
And then let's send him to the end, man. Let's see if we hit on any of these guys. I'm pretty sure um, we did. So I want to see the difference between um, Scotty Barnes. Where is Scotty Barnes? So Greg Brown did go a couple picks before us to the Warriors. He's 76 overall. And then Scotty Barnes is Kai Jones with one pick after us. So Scotty Barnes is a 76 and uh, Kai Jones with a 73. So we did get the better player. Team player options. Chris Boucher, yes. Um, I am going to be accepting all of these just to trade them. So we will be trading these guys, see if we can get anything for them. And then we go to free agency to where we can actually start to trade them and see what we get, man. So the first player I would like to get rid of off the books was Rodney Hood. I saw his contract was 10 million. So we will move Rodney Hood along with Big Bane, Aaron Baines. Um, Bertans was there, JJ Reddick. Uh, probably just looking for some picks here unless we can get like some 81 plus overall. Like Miles Bridges would not be bad actually. Miles Bridges is a pretty good uh, dunker, if I do say so myself. Drew Ebanks went up to a 77. Good for Drew Ebanks, man. Um, I'm probably going to go with Miles Bridges here. And we get Royce O'Neal. Um, I'm going to flip Royce O'Neal. Because we do need that backup uh, small forward position. I mean, we just did draft Scotty Barnes, I guess. So, where is Royce O'Neal? And then, I got Derek Favors. Wait. I just did the wrong trade. Wow. I just did the wrong trade. I got Derek Favors instead of Miles Bridges. It is what it is, man. Uh, we'll just flip. We will flip Derek Favors. Um, I did not realize. I, I did not realize. I, I didn't realize I got the wrong trade, man. That's my fault. Maybe uh, he'll pop back up here. Um, Miles Bridges, and he does. So he's right there. Precious Clint Capella's here. We could go for Clint Capella. Um, yeah, let's go with Clint Capella. And then we're going to flip Clint Capella. He's an 89 power forward. So if we could flip Clint Capella real quick and possibly get, got to get something, man. We got to get something that's going to help us right now. Like we need a point guard. That's what I think we need. I think we need a point guard. If we can get a point guard or something, that would be the best way. Like DeJounte Murray and Drew Ebanks would not be bad. Like I said, Kyle Lowry's gone. Need a point guard. Um, Malcolm Brogdon's an 85. Malcolm Brogdon's more of like a two guard. Um... Yeah, man, let's go with DeJounte and Drew Ebanks. So the lineup right now would be, well, we came and look at it. So the roster right now is, let's see, we have one, two, three, four. Gary Trent will be five, uh, six, seven, eight. So we pretty much have all the players. We just gotta bring back some players. I will make uh, Chris Boucher a power forward if it lets me. So we have Drew Ebanks and Laurie Marketing backing up. So let's go to, no, I almost just missed up everything. Let's go to um, Agency. Laurie Marketing, we, we can't match. We have bird rights on him. He is restricted. Kyle Lowry, I could bring back. We could probably, fl but then if I bring him back, I won't have enough to get, um, um where's he at? Um, Gary Trent Jr. Yeah, I don't have enough to get Gary Trent Jr. So. The plan I'm going to do is get Kyle Lowry back and then flip him for Gary Trent Jr. Just because we never have bird rights on Gary Trent Jr. So, let's see if it lets me accept it. I mean, does it let me match it? If it lets me match it, I'll be cool. But, yeah, let me match it cool. So, we did get Gary Trent Jr. back along with Kyle Lowry. So, we even got Kyle Lowry back, man. But I will probably be looking to flip Kyle Lowry just for the fact that we do have... Unless Kyle Lowry is cool with coming off the bench... This team shouldn't be too bad. I know he drops down to an 80, which kind of sucks. But that's what we got DeJounte for. DeJounte's to replace him. And then, do we have any training camps? So if we have any training camps, we will be giving it to Lord Marketing and rebounding. That's one thing that does need to happen is got to get that rebounding up because this is the final last season. And let's go and see real quick. Um, Where is, we have two. So I do want to give um, perimeter shooting to DeJounte get his three and his mid-range up and then where is i guess we'll do we'll do on top potential to lower marketing it went to an a but let's see where we sit at with this roster now see how they have it so they want to start drew ebanks which drew ebanks is having a pretty good season i understand why he's a 77 now he was like a 73 to start the season but like i said we are going to be starting lower marketing at we will be starting Lori Marketing because it is a Lori Marketing video. And then we just rotate all these guys. 
booty banks can get about say 13 minutes 16 here it's pretty good man i'm not this isn't too bad of a squad man i really like the way the squad is coming along og and anobi can get 30 and then dejounte can get 34 33 and then we'll get gary trent jr um we'll give him about 25 minutes a night so this team isn't too bad it's going to be dejounte murray fred van vliet uh OJ Anobi, Pascal Siakam, Laurie Marketing, along with Chris Boucher, Gary Trent Jr., and Kyle Lowry come off the bench. Andrew Ebanks. If we could flip Kyle Lowry real quick, I want to see what we can get for him. And if not, we'll just roll with it. If we can get a better backup point guard that's not making about 19 mil a year, let's see what we can get and see if it's any um anyone better. Demarcus Cousins and Eric Gordon isn't really what I'm looking for. Patrick Beverly. Like, they still got LaMarcus on the game. Where'd he go? Oklahoma City. It's, so, it's pretty sad what happened to LaMarcus, but it happens, man. It just sucks it happened at that time and stage, man. If I do two first-round picks, can we get something better? If not, we'll just stick with Kyle Lowry. Uh, Jordan Poole went to a 79. That's not too bad. TJ McConnell's here. Um, we'll just stick with Kyle Lowry, man. Uh, just try to get another trip with Kyle Lowry. So, like I already showed you all the lineup, man. We got Lowry marketing. Hopefully, he can do good. Chris Boucher off the bench. I like how this team is, man. Let's go and uh, see if we can win a chip with this team in the final year. We are here at the end of the second season, and we did have two more wins than we did last year. We got 48 wins and 34 losses. Kate Cunningham, Rookie of the Year for the Detroit Pistons. Spencer Dinwiddie, what was that, Sixth Man of the Year. Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player of the Year. And Double O is Most Improved Player. Mike Malone got Coach of the Year, and that's about it. So let's see if anyone made the, any of these teams, man. Pretty sure no one really did. I saw DeJounte Murray's face, so DeJounte made an all-defensive team. And no one made the All-NBA teams. And DeJounte did make All-Defense at first, along with... That's about it. And I don't think Scotty Barnes made it because Scotty Barnes didn't play. So, we did end up getting the 4 seed this year, which is a lot better than the 8 seed last year. So, if you look at season stats and player stats, we were led by Fred Van Vliet's 20 points a game, 6 assists. And Pascal Siakam's 20 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. And then Laurie Markin had 18, 6, and a 1.4 assists, man. It's not bad. He did shoot 38% from the three-point line yet again, which is really good. Jonte had 16, 6, and 6, almost after a triple-double there. And then Chris Boucher and Gary Trent Jr. averaged 10 points apiece. And then Kyle Lowry had 10 and 3 out the bench, along with OJ and Anobi averaging 10. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight players in double-digit scoring, man. So that should make us, like, we should win against the Bulls, man. If we don't beat the Bulls, I'll be highly upset. We do beat the Bulls in 7. And what did Laurie Marketing do against his former team? DeJounte had 24, 8, and 7 for us. Laurie Marketing had 20 and 9. What's he averaging in the playoffs so far? 22 points, 7 rebounds, shooting 50 and 50%. Not too bad, man. That's that's really great, man. I'm not even gonna lie, that's really great stats. Taking on the Brooklyn Nets, could we get past Brooklyn? And wow, we were up 3-1 and we blew it, man. Harden had 54 points in the last game. Wow. Fred Van Vliet had 29, 5, and 6. And then Laurie Markin had 23 and 5. Chris Boucher, DeJounte kind of. He only took 7 shots, but he had 13, 9, and 11. Pascal didn't really show 4 of 19, man. We kind of needed Pascal to show. We lost by 7. Um, let's make the rest of the playoffs, but the Lakers took one to win the chip as the Hornets. The Hornets beat. The Hornets beat the Nets? How? How does this team beat Brooklyn? How? <laughs> We could have been in the finals, man. There's no way that team should have beat Brooklyn, but let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. Do y'all think Laurie Marketing will head to Toronto? Do y'all think it'd be a good fit? I personally, I would think Laurie Marketing, if he went to Toronto, it would kind of be, they wouldn't know who to play at the five, who to play at the four, just for the fact that they're both offensive fundamental guys, Pascal and Laurie. Laurie's not known for his defense. He's known for shooting, but it could work. They could play five out, you know, spread the defense, make like, the centers come out and guard them like Joel B has to go out there and guard them to where the paint is clean and clear for them. Kind of like they do with Jokic sometimes. But let me know what y'all think if the Raptors should sign a lawyer marketing or girl elsewhere. This is the end of the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch y'all guys next time. Peace.